The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman sitting for Larry Pesavento. My pleasure to be here. My show is usually at noon till 1 o'clock Eastern Time, the Tiger Technician's Hour. And my daily service is the, Tiger t is the opening call. That's my newsletter that comes out, a very comprehensive newsletter, comes out every single day, telling us what to look for in the market, where we are, looking at the different trends, short-term, intermediate-term, long-term, etc. And what we've got right here is you've got, on the left, you've got the chart of the daily September E-mini. In the middle, you've got the weekly. And on the right, just for uh, demonstration purposes, I've got the 120-minute chart. And behind that is the monthly. We'll look at that. But what's really interesting for me is that yesterday, what I had shown subscribers, there was an oval pattern right here. And that is a pattern that I developed years and decades ago when I was hand charting. And I discovered that there was a um, pattern that formed where there was a, not a single leg up to the upside, but really a sustained move that looks like one leg that goes all the way up, then it halts, and then it forms a pattern that is an oval. It's not a rectangle. That has a different connotation. The rectangle has the uh, propeller shaft like um, an airplane propeller. Whoops, neat chart. I'm sorry. Let's just do this again. Here we go. Chart coming up. Oh, no. <laughs> chart, I, I had all this time to prepare. I'm in the wrong medium right here. Let me do this. I'm going to go to the chart, and I'm going to show it as a fixed picture right here fixed picture if my engineer will just open it up by as soon as we get to the break I'll, I'll change over to a different platform can't, unfortunately I can't do it midstream I used to be able to and I can't right now this has been some some slight change so what we're looking at if the chart can show right here on the left you've got um, it basically a pattern that has a long leg up then it goes oval oval and that oval often goes to a peak, D or an E, and then fourth highest peak. And then what happens, there's a sudden spiral to the upside. So this is called the leg. This is called the body. I'll go through this again when we're doing it live in a moment. Body, and then we get the neck formation. And that's exactly what we got yesterday. That neck formation, very often, if it is just a momentary, what I call a, it's a right arm extension or rogue wave. What is a rogue wave? You know, when you go to the beach and you're looking at the uh, the ocean, and look, it's great, but the sign at the beach says high tide at noon. So at 12.06, you think, okay, high tide said I'm going to my favorite rock right at the edge. I'm just going to sit there and kind of uh, veg out, and just relax, read my book, put your sunglasses on, put the suntan lotion. And as you turn around, splash, there's this huge wave. You look, you look to see what happened. Wipe your glasses, you're looking around, tide's going out, you don't know what happened. Well, that's a rogue wave. It didn't see the sign at the beach that said high tide at noon. At 12.06, there's one wave went way up the beach. And that's exactly what happens. Look, the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence was declining. The stochastic was declining. And the price suddenly spirals to the upside. Usually it's an emotional spiral. It has nothing to do with the market. It has some news event or something. That's exactly what happened here. It goes to 24. Let me just double check that. I had written 2470. It should be 2488.50. That's exactly what it should be. 2488.50. And reverses that same bar, comes all the way down, and then overnight it pulls back. Now this is called the beak, so that's called the neck. That's the head right here as it makes that reversal. That's the head, and now we're into the beak. What happens when the beak concludes, there's usually a very sharp rally, and then you're on your own. You have to now look for different patterns. However, if the 2457 round number low, the body low this of this oval formation is pierced and closed, you cl the price that you're looking at closes below, 
That's a big negative. Now, we're looking at the weekly chart. It's in a leg F in the Chapman Wave, and that's the Chapman Wave 5. So this is the area we've got to consider that there could now be some reversal of trend. How steep, what the decline is, we're going to talk about that in a moment. I just want you to show the 120-minute chart went to a peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology. D is where you start to look for other things to happen. Boy, did they happen over there. And they happened over here, 2488.50. Kaplop, it goes trough A, trough B. It's in trough B, uh, trough C right now. And has broken the left side support of 2463.25. And that makes the 200-period exponential moving average right there of 2466. Uh, the first real resistance on the upside, I'm thinking 24. Six eight is really the issue. If we can, if the uh, S and P E minis can come back to two four six eight, that's only down four points instead of being down nine right now. That'll be very important. Now let's go to another chart. I'll have to do the same thing now. I'm going to click. I'll do what Larry does. Click, and I'm going to post it. I have to get away from that single leg A right in there. Let me just move that away. There we are. Okay, what we're looking at here, and I'm going to give you a shout out. This is it. There it is. VIX index coming up. So this is this is the first time ever that we've got, other than Trump health and all those different spikes and uh, and everything else that pertains to uh, volatility increases. This is the first time I've got North Korea ever, and you can go back. As long as I've got this chart, you will never see. You'll see China and domestic China plus interest rates and that big spike August of two years ago of 2015 uh, at 53.29. The VIX just screamed. I remember that was the one that I, I didn't understand why the VIX actually went that high. I could understand 29 to 33. But 53, that was just a really emotional response. Yes, the Greek crisis. Anybody remember the Greek issue back at 48 in the, in the VIX index? on the uh, Also August. Oh, my goodness. August. And then we've got October of 2008 at 89.53. That was the bank crisis. So this is just a little minor blip we've got here. And to tell you the truth, um, let's face it. Uh, does North Korea want to be wiped out? Do we want to have anything to do with a, a nuclear bomb? I suspect this is going to uh, fizzle. But the issue is that the market was vulnerable. Now I can go to the Dow chart, INDU. This is the Dow chart. Let me do the same thing again. Click, click, and paste. And what we're looking at here, you remember the D is what I said in the Chapman methodology. We start to look for the fourth highest peak. That's where other things can happen. Well, at 22,179 yesterday, that was an invert. That candle, it looks a little bit like an inverted hammer candle or an evening star. But I, I only use about three candles altogether in all my candle analysis. These are, these are the important ones. The long-legged doji is important in the sense that it opens and closes about the price, the same price, but it has a long shadow or a long wick to the upside. What happens for me is if there is a close below the wick's low, in this case, a close below 22,057, today there's a good chance we will go straight down. Within, a, within the week, we'll be testing 21,975. The nine period exponential moving average, that black, black line there. But look, the MACD is strong, the stochastic is strong. Basil Chapman sitting for Larry Pesavento. I'll be right back. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan its most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profile So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk-free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. 
Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. So here we are. We're live now, and we've got all these charts. Um, Basil Chapman sitting in for Larry Pesavento. We've got the E-mini 10-minute chart. You'll see that it came plummeting down from the 2488 area to make a low this morning at 2459. Trying to bounce here. It's going to be very important that the E-mini tries to get to this green line, the 2469 level, then the 200-period exponential moving average without breaking under 2457. Any any close on a 10-minute basis below. 2457 suggests that we have begun the consolidation phase that many of us have been expecting for a while. Let's just run through a couple of things here. You've got gold. Gold soared to the upside. No, I shouldn't say soared. It, it, it rallied quite strongly. It was up about eight or nine points. Now it is up 17 points at 1280. Point ten is broken out above that previous high. I have what's called in the Chapman wave a left side, right side price tie match. Well, it's actually now um, a day late. It was supposed to get to the 1290.4 area. Uh, that was on the four, that was the high of the 14th, and was supposed to get there on the no, the ninth, uh, the eighth. Yes. So today it's running. It's a, it's a little behind, but that and where, what am I talking about? I'm talking about. The left side high that was made on the 14th coming down uh, to the low that was made on the 10th of July, and that low was at 12, 10.20. And the actual left side low that I go to is bumping up against the high, the bar of the 9th. And if you go to the right side, let me just show you here. Let me put that in right there to there. And now we're moving it from that midpoint. This is what I call the plumb line right there. So we'll see what happens today. And what's really important is that the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence, is good. The stochastic is not. So this is a how sustainable this move to the upside is, is going to be very important going into Thursday's close. We want a full uh, 24 hours, no more than that, uh, to see whether or not this leg E is really a recycling is going to go higher and retest the high that was made all the way back on the 6th of June at 13.05. So this is going to be a very important session. Look what's very interesting. You see this 200 period moving average in the weekly chart, exponential moving average. You see this, this uh, trend line that goes up. It suggests that the 1282 area of the 200 period moving average is a target, and that's exactly where it hit. 
the, the monthly chart is still good, and the, we, the daily is going to peak A, B. It's in leg C right now, so that still harbors and augurs well for gold at least intraday to go higher. So that's gold. Silver, in fact, is at this point uh, up, um, also quite strong, but it hasn't taken out the peak D high that was made. Actually, I shouldn't have put that down arrow in. That's incorrect. We hadn't closed under the the MACD had not closed negative. This should be a plus sign. So silver at up 0.38 at 16.77. The big test is going to be how does it handle the high of 16.96 made on the 2nd of August? And does it go to the 17.19 200 period exponential moving average uh, in the daily chart? So now let's go on because we want to be looking at a couple of things here. And I will include crude oil. Crude oil should be rallying some because it's part of that whole fear factor. And it is up 36 cents, only 36 cents. But I, it's suggesting to me that it wants to go to a leg D because D, I, I'll show you that in a moment, is what we anticipate in the Chapman Wave methodology once you get a buy mode. And we're in a buy mode. 50.43, 50.44, the continuous contract will start leg D. 50.27 in crude oil is the 200 period moving average. I'm not sure why it's not much higher. I'm a little behind, so maybe it is. Now let's go to the currencies. You see that the dollar at this particular point isn't down much it's down 0 0.08 at 9356 i would suggest to you that the dollar upturn is in fact intact at the moment it'll fail completely if the dollar which is at 9357 closes under 92.55, the low of the second. At this point, it's holding pretty darn well. I'm suspecting that as soon as this is all over, which will be, should be fairly soon, uh, that is the fuss that's being made right now, uh, North Korea is going to probably back down, talk about some other things, and then things will settle down. But now we know that North Korea is going to be a factor in this market. It wasn't before, but it is going to become more and more. So, um, so here we are, dollar. I suspect that if the dollar is able to get to 94.25 in the next three days, it's telling us that gold will start to fizzle. Um, I'm going to go to Greg in Austin. Greg, how are you? I'm well, thank you, Basil. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. You'd like to look at? I'm calling about natural gas again. Okay. So, so last time do you, I did. Do you, have, you, did you I, have a do you have a position now? I do. Uh, last time I um, had, uh, remember, I was I was uh, uh, going short. I didn't want to put everything in the email. I had had a fat fingered error and um, ended up with uh, way too much triple than what I wanted. Okay. And I couldn't sell it because when that had happened, I went. Uh, uh, I had unsettled funds. But oh. in the end, yeah, I know, I know. But in the end, uh, I was able to um, get out that Friday, luckily, uh, when it didn't break uh, that left side low of the 720, right. which was what I was hoping for because, you know, natural gas moves so quickly. Quickly, yes. Thought, well, if it, yeah, if it breaks that, I thought, you know, 4 or 5% easily in a day. But, Easy, yeah. you know, I got out and I made I made uh, a little over 4%. And then... Um, very good. Uh, yeah, and now, um, so I was able to go uh, long uh, right after that. So uh, I'm back uh, long in the uh, triple, the uh, UGAZ. Um, and gas is up today. It looks like it's going to gap up. Um, yes. Yeah. So, so this is what I'm going to suggest to you. Um, I'm looking at the natural gas contract up 0.04 yep. at 2.868. This is the actual, the continuous contract. There was an right. arch formation. Remember, we spoke about the arch formation and that if it took out the left side low and held under it and couldn't get right back, then it would probably go a little low. And now it's gone to that low. The low was four days ago at uh, 2.764. My recommendation is this. So are you? So you're using the triple and you are long. So you are correct and you are not only correct, but you are triple correct, right? <laughs> so <laughs> and we, know, we know how quickly this moves, but it's going to touch the 200 period moving average in the 120 minute chart, but it's only in a leg B. Here's what I'm going to suggest to you. Take, have a trading stop on part of your position. Now, do, do you, you guess, are you able to um, 
Are you able to keep this as a long position overnight? Does it is it activated or does it stop? Uh, is it only the day? Um, I just can't. I've actually done this. I, I've done this. I just haven't done it for, re, for recently. I just can't even remember now. Do, will this be active? If you put in a stop, will it be activated overnight? No, I, I can. Uh, no, no, I can't. Okay. I can only do it during the uh, market hours and then uh, so, pre and, so pre and post so hours. That's, it's very easy. What I'm going to say to you is now you're at 2.872, you've got a really nice profit. I'm going to, oh, we've got a break coming up. You know what? This is good because it's a break and the market will start when we get back. I want you to think this through a little bit more because I can see the numbers visually, but I just want to, I want to sure. double check that I'm going to give you something that I feel comfortable with. Great. We've got Greg and Austin. I'm Basil Chapman sitting in for Larry Pesavento. We'll be back as soon as the market opens and the E-minis are right now down 8.25. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back with Greg and Austin. This is Basil Chapman sitting for Larry Pesavento. What I want you to look at is ABCDE, and this is a brand new um, B in the 120 minute chart. So, this is what I was thinking during the break. Um, because you can't, uh, you, you kind of trapped overnight. You just have to watch whatever is going to happen, and then at, at 9 30 the next morning, uh, do whatever you were right. going to do. So, this is what I'm going to recommend. If uh, natural gas, I would mentally I'd have, no, I'd have a physical stop of part of your position at 2.840. 2.842 2 
is in fact the nine period exponential moving average. That's number one, just for part of your position. Okay. If at the end of the day, and are you able to watch it up until four o'clock? Yeah. Okay, if at quarter to four, it is heading towards the high of the day, I would love to be able to hold it overnight, but I think just for money management, because of the risk involved, if you haven't taken anything off, that's when I would take off probably maybe a third of the position, even if it gaps up huge tomorrow. It's just money, money management because right. you are you're just trapped. I mean, you do not want to see it all of a sudden plummet down to 2.70 and give away all your profits overnight. Uh, so that's the, the risk reward says take another bit off. Now, let's just imagine that it's it's made its high of the day. It's just going to watch everything, same as crude oil. It's just going to watch now for the rest of the day. It doesn't actually move much higher than this. And it sort of stalls at about the 2.8. It's at 2.869. It goes to about 2.58. At quarter to four, it's at 2.58. And you say, oh, my God. So 8.58. And you say, oh, my goodness. Now what do I do? It hasn't gone down, but it hasn't gone up. I'm going to recommend, because of the, the risk involved, that maybe you still take something off. It doesn't have to be the same amount, but you've you got to figure it out. But I, I'm just saying to you, sure. you really want to have some cash to say, you know what, right. if it breaks down, I've got some profit. I'm going to give away some of that profit because I've got, now got two-thirds or a half. It doesn't matter. You make the right. choice. Make sure that you can sleep at night. That's the only important thing that I'm going to suggest. Money management allows you to say, I know my risk. Let it do whatever it's going to do, I'm fine. So that's really what I'm saying. However, I'm also going to add this, that on the weekly chart, this is the first moment that I'm looking at it and saying, you know what? The flat moving, the MACD with the histogram starting to rise in natural gas, the uh, stochastic flat at 14%, not at 7% single digit, but at 14% says, whoa, it's a, it's a real quick move to 20%, and that'll start uh, a, a more serious rally if it can hold above 20% on Friday uh, mm -hmm. at the close of, of the weekly chart. And that would target 2.945, the nine period moving average. Right. Um, I'm just thinking that if this is just an emotional move, in other words, this is a move that has something to do with crude oil, it has to do with the commodities. Let's put it that way. This is really a commodity play based on other things. Then we'll see that it starts to fade by Thursday this time, not this time. Let's make it noon, between noon and one o'clock when I usually do my show. Tomorrow, um, natural gas is just going to kind of be floundering, sitting at the 2.82 area, not really doing very much. So right, because tomorrow, that, tomorrow is uh, inventory also for that's uh, right, natural yes. gas. So we'll know but, tomorrow <laughs> you know, yes. what so the now, real direction is for but, another week. Right, but I'm also going to suggest to you that because of the volatility and because there's some kind of announcement coming out, what, at 10.30 tomorrow morning? Right. I'm, going to, I'm just going to suggest to you that, yes, it'll be fantastic if everything works and all of a sudden you're looking at a 3.20, but there is a risk involved. Sure. And that's why, regardless, you've got a nice profit now. I would be, I tend to... Um, just take something off to for it's really yeah. security and money management but you you usually do handle these very well i just don't want to see you stuck in a position that overnight you haven't taken any gains and then it pulls back that's the only thing sure. i'm looking well at. And, and with and with natural gas that's uh, i've i've learned if he i mean it, that's just too real of, of that's a reality with it that it can move so quick but so That's what right. I was looking at, and kind of lines up with your weekly 90, uh, the 90 MA, is that, um, you know, had this big consolidation from uh, June through the end of July, and I can just see it kind of getting back up into the middle of that, which is the 90 MA weekly, and, and, and it consolidates some more. But we're also, I, I, if I'm not correct, I, I might be wrong, and probably e either uh, Larry or uh, Andy Hecht will be able to, to clarify this more. I think that seasonally, this is about when, uh, you know, August is about when you should start to see something. Last year in August, uh, yeah, last year in August, it was a big move up, then a big move down, and then a big move up. So, yeah, this is where it becomes a little more volatile. So, I agree. So, hey, nice trade and Thanks good so eye. You, you really got a lovely feel for this natural gas. Congratulations, Greg, and good Thank luck. Thank you. It
and, and if you get an opportunity, um, I'll hang up. But uh, cover the VIX, that would be great. Um, uh, you know, I had long. a question about Steve Rose just asked a question about the trend. I'm going to do the VIX and the and the and the, uh, the trend, the short-term trading index, right now. Hey, thanks great. for the thanks call. So I appreciate that. Okay. Bye bye. So, folks, bye bye. Let's let's look at the VIX again, just one more time, because now the market's opened and the Dow is down 37 at 32,045. The S&P's down seven at 24. 67 the composite index is down 40 that's a deeper consolidation because it was weekend i'm going to go through that in a moment it's at 63.28 the vix right now is at 11.98 it's way off the high of 12.63 i so here, here's the two things that i mentioned first of all um at an all-time high I don't recall, I do remember at some point, I can't remember which high it was, that the VIX had a little bit of a blip and then it didn't do anything. And then the market went on to another high. It should. It, so when the VIX, for this to be a major turnaround in the markets, the VIX going from $8.84 to $12.63, a 33% uh, rally in just a week and a half, um, and and the, and the, we're at all-time highs. Even now, we're at 20, uh, 2,039. We're uh, 140 points of all-time high in the Dow. Uh, 2467. You're uh, just off a little bit from the highs on the S&P. This doesn't make sense to me at this particular point. But it is the shot across the bow that says, "Hey, North Korea is involved now in this market in terms of because of other things because of." Um, the other factors that are very important commodity wise. So that's going to be important. I'm going to go to Lou and Nasha. Lou, how are you? Fine. How are you, Basil? Haven't, haven't uh, spoken for a while. You've been well? No, we haven't. I, I, uh, I don't know if mistakenly, but I got it to SQQQ. Yes, right, on that's the close, good. Uh, on the close yesterday. Okay. <laughs> So, so it was at the close yesterday with gap down in the QQQ. So you are in it. So this is what I'm looking at, and that that was that was a good that was a good move. And I'll tell you why, because the QQQ, which is the Power Shares QQQ Trust series, made a, an attempt yesterday. It's very unusual in the Chapman wave to go to the third highest peak at an all-time high, peak C, and fail. And that's the only way I can count this particular one because at 135.87 back uh, back in uh, May, that low was pierced when it came down to 135.80. So this really has to be a, a leg C. I'll talk about that. You, there's no rush. <laughs> Lou, you're in the right position for now. We'll be right back with Lou in Nash in New Hampshire. And the Qs are down 1.12 at 143.18. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman sitting in for the one and only Larry Pesavento. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how Everbank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? Everbank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? Everbank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. 
See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex, next on TFNN. So we've got Lou Nashua, we're on, we're looking at the QQQ, I'm also looking at EWY, which is the North Korea iShares, but we'll get to that in a moment. Let's go back to the Q. So this is what I'm looking at, Lou. <clears throat> this is really just the, oops, let me get it right there. This is just the start of the move. Until the QQQ closes below 142.30 is the low, 142. It has to close below 142. The moment it does that, the impact on the uh weekly chart is going to be felt at this particular point is really just a high level consolidation in a rectangle formation but i do believe you're in the right in the right area so you've got a little bit of room here because you you got in at about 143.17 it's at 142.82 almost uh, 90 cents below your entry point and i suspect it is the correct position at this particular time the only thing i would say to you is if you start to see a trading at 144.30, somewhere around there, um, that says to me that there is enough internal strength to attempt once again to retest the highs. And you remember what I was talking about just a moment ago, if I go to the VXN, which is the, uh, the VIX index of the NASDAQ, it's had, it's had a pretty sp a big spike, not as, not as strong as the... Um, the one that's related to the New York Stock Exchange, the VIX index, but this is pretty big. It's at 16.24, and I would just, I'd keep it in mind that the Nasdaq VIX, uh, if it really starts to scream and go into the 18s, the QQQ series is going to really drop strongly. The most important thing is that this oval pattern that I've drawn in the weekly chart. At some point over the next three weeks, if the Qs continually make lower lows and lower highs, if it breaks under 135, and it's going to take a lot to do, that's just another ball game altogether. And that's going to suggest that the general market is probably going to have a, a longer timeout and a deeper consolidation. In the meantime, just treat it that you're in, I think you're in the right position for the shorter term. I'm not sure yet if it's the intermediate term. We really have to look at levels that, that are important. But I, I have to congratulate you. Just grabbing it at that moment was the, the right thing to do. This is three times short, the QQQ series. And the only thing I'm saying to you is, if there is a retracement later today, suddenly the Qs start to rally, um, the VIX starts to drop, we might find that this is really just a topping process and that the Qs need a little more time, that the Dow needs a little more time because the Dow is only down 61 points. The s and is down 10 and the, uh, the uh, down 0.44%. Um, the S&P and the Qs are down 0.93. So you're in the right area. You're in the weakest area and you're in the, in the position to go down the SQQQ, the exact title of the SQQQ. QQ is, let me just see what it is, QQQ, um, ProShares Ultra 
Ultra Pro short position. So three times short, trading at 28.70. Oh, it's got a little bit better look to it than the actual VIX, the NASDAQ VIX. So if the Q, if the SQQ that you're in goes above 29, that was the high of the 27th, that is really good action for you. That's what you're looking at. Then the nine period moving average in the weekly will be 29.63. That will be the target area. Hey, congratulations, Lou. Nice, nice entry. Where do you think I should put my stop? I bought it at 27.95. So if you bought it at 27.95, you got two ways to look at it. Either you're going to say, I'm going to give it a little bit of room because we could still find that it's choppy. There's just enough like Apple um, is, is still rallying. It's still looking quite good. Um, so I would say that on part of my position, I'd have 20, 28.22 is the nine period moving average. If it goes under 28.22, I definitely take something off. I try to keep the core. I think you're in at a really good position. So I try to keep that as a core position. But on some part of it, 28, 20, I'd say, OK, take a little bit off because that could dip more towards your entry point. But definitely right. don't take a loss. Don't take a loss under any circumstances because you got in a, in a nice in a nice area. OK, yeah, so thank you very much. Thank you for calling and uh, a nice, nice entry, Lou. So that's Lou and Asher. Now, folks, I want to do a couple of things. The, 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 so the VIX index, I gave you parameters. Uh, I'll go back to the VIX right now rather than the VX. So the VIX is pulling back just a little bit from the 1263 um, high that it made this morning early on. Um, what's really most important is it's above the 200 period moving average, which is at 1188. If for any reason by the end of the day it starts to go under 1188, be careful, because as I said before, I don't, I don't know if I, I'm going to even have time to do it, but I do not recall ever at any point a substantial move to the downside. I actually remember now that there was a move where the VIX rallied sharply as within a day before, a day after uh, an all-time high. I also remember that, that I, I noted that that was unusual and that to start a major move with the VIX rallying sharply like that is, where does the VIX go if everything starts to keep going down after that? That becomes a major move in the VIX, the volatility index. They call it fear and greed. I just like to look at it as numbers, but I do call it fear when it starts to get into the high 20s. And so far, we haven't seen that. Um, so in the meantime, what I am saying is that I suspect this is going to be a rolling correction with slightly lower highs and slightly lower lows. That's kind of what I think is going to happen over a period of a few weeks. And that um, positions that you were able to get yesterday should be good on the short side. But be careful because this is very unusual. And if that VIX by Friday or Monday, if over the weekend nothing's happening, everything's quietened down, be careful because if that VIX suddenly slides back under 11, you'll see a very nice rebound in the market. And I, 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 did, I told my subscribers, we're not going to overdo it. We're not going to go... Uh, uh, heavily short right now. We've got some position, but we're, we're, I, I don't want to do that because I think that I want to see how the market plays out. Now the trend. This is the. Uh, let me go to my 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 four my five panel that I love to call my quadrants. So this on the right here is the short term trading index. And the question uh, Steve wanted to know was, uh, let's see, it was a little earlier on. And it was a good question. I should try to find it. Uh, oh, yeah. Basil, is your experience that most tops, major tops, occur with a trend closing reading, close reading below a certain level? Thanks. That's Steve Rose. It's a, that's a really good question. Now, my experience with the, the short term trading index, this is Richard Arm's fabulous tool called the, the, the short term trading index, the trend. I use it. I don't think he's, he even knows how anybody else. He uses it in a particular way, and it's fantastic for him. I've never used it that way because I found, for me, it just doesn't work. I use it using, I, over the years, I, I discover that there are certain numbers I look for. When they are hit, it gives a really good reading. I've actually uh, X out. Uh, I think there was one that I did not X out. The other day, did I, I should have X out one of them. Yeah, I think this is 228. I'm not going to X it out now. But you can see there's an X. I, I, I crossed it out. It's the only time it's failed. Very seldom has it failed, this particular index. Um, 
Uh, nope. I'm, I'm going back. There it is. There were, there were two failures back in. Uh, this is right there. Oh, well, about to wrap up. Okay. Um, right here. On the 29th of June 2016, it failed. And on the 8th of July 2016 it failed. I know it's failed uh, again. It failed the other day and I forgot to exit out. I will find it and exit out. So otherwise it's got a good reading. And right now it's just saying to me, ha, -ha there's nothing here in the chin that says uh, anything about a major decline or even a major rally. I'll be back. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Basil Chapman will be giving a two-series webinar Wednesday, August 2nd, and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Each time the market feels its rate to have a sharp decline, formerly weak sectors rally to hold the market up. This two-webinar series will be free for Basil's opening call subscribers, and non-subscribers will also receive his daily newsletter for one month free as a trial subscription. Sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter, The Opening Call, and gain access to his subscriber-only webinar on August 2nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Hi everyone, this is Basil Chapman and I'm looking forward to seeing you at my webinar series. To sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter and gain access to Basil's webinar, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. <laughs> So in my show at noon, I'll be talking a lot more about, for instance, the TLT is up the dollar thirteen at one twenty five seventy five above one twenty six point oh three starts a leg D. Not only does it start a leg D, it really improves the weekly chart. Um, so we're going to be watching this very closely because my contention has been that bonds should uh, rally as money comes out of the equities and into the safety of. Uh, fixed income if this market is going to start coming down. So there are a couple of things that are really important that I want to get to. We've just got a few moments here. I know this is a very short segment. Um, I've got a webinar. My webinar started a week ago, Wednesday. It's a two webinar series. I've been discussing the markets. What about what's going on? Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Discussing in terms of monthly charts, short term, medium term, uh, different sectors, etc. But over the period of um, the period of this week, 
and into the first few days of next week, I'll be showing in my daily call exactly what we're looking at, why we're looking at it, why we're trying to get into certain areas that we call under the radar that should hold quite well regardless of the market conditions. And that's number one. Number two is uh, within that context, by next week, on Wednesday, a week from tonight, we'll have already gone through half of, half of the month's candle from the highs that were made. And it's really important looking out what is working, what is not. So that's what I want you to talk about. So if you go to the front page of TFN, it's not too late because that first webinar was really an overview that you can just look at as many times as you want. It'll be archived on your, your, your uh, page. Now, let's just do this real quickly uh, one more time. End of the day. Well, my show is at 12 at noon time. We're at Eastern, we'll be going through all this again. In the VIX index, if the VIX index starts to decline from here, VIX, because I just think that there was just a way too high reading going in from from yesterday into today at 12.63, you would think the Dow would be down 300 points. It's not. So watch the VIX. If the VIX goes down under 1150, this market could be rallying quite strongly. And I'll be back at noon. Have a great day. Bounce the chapter sitting for Larry Pesavento. I'm sure I think Larry will be back tomorrow. Have a great day. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.